it is Omo Onijamaka Day. Yeah. So what's the meaning of Omo Onijamaka? And it's a people are beautiful. <laughs> Did you hear that? Umu Nicha, Amaka. <laughs> so today is a Udevin year. They've been having a series of events, and it's now time for the gala night. It's time where they dress up, they look all good, and it's time to see how, how our Nicha people dress up. Right? So I know you're Igbo, right? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Igbo State. You're from Igbo State, eh? Where are people? So, so the Nicha people, what are they known for? Business, money, mm. class, okay. prestige. Hey. <laughs> so you see, so Nietzsche people, when you hear the container they call IC, the spare part merchant, those are the Nietzsche people. So today we are here to celebrate with the Nietzsche people and one bed TV wherever it is happening, right? Yes, 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 of course. All right, all right, all right. Today is the gala night, the night we've been waiting for. So how do you feel about this? Umo Nature Night, the Gala Night. It's our first time here, actually. So we're here to see how it goes. So tell me about the Onicha people. Well, Onicha has a very colorful, you know, culture. It's a very, uh, you know, uh, adorable culture that, you know, all over the world, at least, we stand out, the Onicha people. We are the cream de la cream of the society. Okay, okay, tell me more. Onicha is the central commercial hub in the eastern part of Nigeria. Onicha is a place that is known all over the world. And the map of the world you'll find Onicha because it's one of the places that were developed from a very long time. Onicha people are the kindest people you ever find in this world. We're known for education. Really? I thought it was just business though. No, Onicha is education. If you come to Nigeria, that's what we're known for. Education. I say when you get educated, you take care of your women very well, your children. Come on. Anisha people are very generous people, yes. very friendly. Yes. You know, we even though we have our ups and downs, but we show up, we show out, yes. you know. I do love the Igbo culture so much and I feel like I've missed home. So each time I see myself in a garden like this, is a way of kind of, you know, bringing me close home. So what's the one word of advice you want to give the youths that are coming up in the Igbo land on each other, you know, about the culture? Well, I would say, you know, the youths, especially those, you know, who are raised and who are born and raised here, always listen to your parents. You know, try to make sure that you preserve the culture that you see every day that they exhibit. So what does Onicha Maka mean to you? Onicha Maka means Onicha is beautiful. People, people are beautiful. So that's why we're all here looking forward to everything that will happen here today. It means so many things. One, it reminds me of the men Igbo culture, where we are coming from and why we are here today. So it reminds our kids the culture of the land. You can see everybody dress up traditionally. So that is the main reason we are here, to remind even those that are not Igbos from other parts of the world that this is our culture. So what have you guys enjoyed so far? I mean, the culture, the heritage, all the different performances has been wonderful. I enjoyed the, uh, the celebration, the uh, cheerfulness. Well. Uzo Amaka, that's uh, uh, the road is good, right? <laughs> so yeah, so I think everything about the Yibo speaks to that, you know. So as a destabilized Nigerian, right? Uh, my sister married uh, from uh, Onicha, so you know. So you know, I'm just part, you know, good to be part of this uh, ceremony. I've enjoyed seeing a lot of people I've not seen over the years. That's one and two. I just enjoy the camaraderie and all that, you know, so. Today we are here to patronize and support our Onicha community. 
because they are showcasing our culture, our food, friendship, and fellowship. That's why we're here tonight. What is one piece of wisdom that you can give us, you know, um, and you can say it in Igbo, you know, and then translate for, you know, for those that might not understand. Basically, oh, patience, Ndidi. You know, because, because circumst things will change, things will happen. Yeah. But you know what matters is how you handle it. If you can give us um, an Igbo proverb to inspire the youth, so say it in Igbo, sorry, say it in Igbo and please translate for us. Thank you. Um, for our um, and that means that once you're born, you are born to burn other people. You're supposed to, um, you know, take care of uh, your people. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. So beautiful. What you see, this is just why I love Igbo culture. As in Nene outfits, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Auntie, can you can you tell us the significance kind of of, of the outfits? I'm uh, part of the association of Otuodu of Onicha. And Otuodu is the Chitansi uh, organization in Onicha, uh, the prestigious organization of Onicha. And this is our outfits for initi uh, initiation into the Onicha Otuodu. And this is where, how we represent our cultures. This is the female chiefs of Onicha Kingdom. And we're here as to, to celebrate our king, to showcase our culture. That's what we're all about. You know, I'm so curious. What does it take? And any of you can answer this. What does it take to be titled uh, the way that you all are titled? Because I know it takes a lot to be in that position. Very first thing is a, a woman of accomplishment of great character. Because you go to an interview process, you have to have a great character before you can join us. Um, we're not talking about the money because it's quite a bit, um, but it's mostly about, you know, really highly educated. This, um, I know Enyisom Toch who is sitting right there and not really talking much, but this is a huge retired bank manager. She's, got, she's done a lot. So we're not just talking about, these are women of substance women of accomplishment and that are ready and willing to support not just our culture, but to advance our culture and to contribute to our culture. That's, that's what it takes to be a member. You have to be a daughter of Onicha or married to somebody from Onicha in order to be a member. Onicha is known for its culture, it's known for its rich, richness, and we are proud to be Onicha people. You just have to sit down and watch and see. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of entertainment. That's very true, Onisha. People, I, I, they are known to be a vibe. And, you know, especially besides the Onisha main market, which is, of course, very, very popular, what else makes Onisha stand out from the rest? The indigenous. We are, we are very proud people. We love our culture. And we excel in everything we do. Yeah, we are known to excel. We have a great culture and we have to preserve it. And us as, as parents, we have to teach our children our culture. Like we said, we learned earlier today, even during the having lunch, dinner, you talk to your children about the culture, preserve the culture. Many people want to be on each other because of our culture. So we have to impact that to our youth. It is so important because that's who we are. You always have to know where you are from. My children were so excited when they came to Onicha and they were like, so this is where I'm from. To know your roots, it is so important. Otherwise, you know, what else? I'm curious, Ma, what's one aspect of this celebration that you've really enjoyed? There's so many things to enjoy. What's maybe um, one aspect or two, or two that you've enjoyed the most? The purpose of the whole thing is to, um, the liaison between Indianapolis and the sister city, liaison, you know, again, engagement you know we want to be part of where we we live in Igbo, in Igbo, they say Ebonye awachi. you can't be a stranger where you live you got to integrate with people you know where you are you know so that's i mean i'm seeing that involvement here 
with your Nietzsche people and Indianapolis, city of Indianapolis, hoping, our, our hope is that eventually we will have exchange of students. Have you heard that tonight? Yes, yes, yes. We will have exchange of students. They will go to Nigeria and we'll, you know, that's what I, that, that's what I take away with, you know, the sister city thing is very important. And we, just the engagement of the city, you know, when we have our parties, it's just us. But when we have a party where the city is involved, that's a big deal. For our fellow women, what advice would you give them to aspire to greatness as you all have aspired to greatness? I think just knowing your faith. First things first is God. You place God first in everything that you do. The next thing is that you have to work hard. There is no free lunch, you know, and it's a lot of work uh, to accomplish anything in this life. If you don't study hard, you don't pass an examination. If you don't work hard, you don't advance and work. So that's what it is. There's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of work to do. And most into honesty, have integrity. Integrity is key. Let your word be your word. If you can leave us with um, an Igbo proverb to inspire, to inspire us, you know, what do you, it could be your favorite or any, anyone. If a jabon icha erika, onya boron icha nebe. And of course, as the chief that you are, what a, as the Egovin one that you are, as the Adu go, you, you, like, you cannot just walk out like that. You have to, please give us, you know, give, give us a move, give us dance step. Ima, uh -huh. Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah. I, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One bed, one bed, one bed, one bed. One bed, one bed, one bed, one bed, So you are the decorator of this magnificence that was seeing this opulence. Please, please tell, tell us your inspiration. Give us info about your business. Thank you so much. Yes, I was the decorator. My name is Shola Ketiku. I'm the owner of a grandeur luxury event. And I'm so, so glad that I was the decorator. Um, inspiration, you said, you know, they told me they wanted something purple. And I'm like, you know what? That is so royal. You know, let's go with all the royals. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that, you know, everything turned out wonderful. Everybody's looking so gorgeous tonight. Please tell us more about, you know, what what this place, you know, entails, um, especially also for the community. Yes. So this is a global village where we are here to celebrate all the cultures that we are. So the building itself, we consists of a event space, of course, but we're also a big museum and a big gallery spaces. About 98% of everything in here has been donated by the community. So we got a lot of big community here. We got a lot of diversity here and we're just making sure that everybody is celebrated. So that's why we have you tonight and we're excited to just have everybody here. So Thank you. Thank you so much. We're excited to have you. So give us a twirl as you're leaving so that we can see everybody, please. You understand? For information, contact in the one bed. We can help you. When you talk of furniture, culture, I love our dressing. You see how I'm looking. Yes. This is a typical furniture woman, oh, sir. Yes. So this is number one. And then you come to our dance. Oh, our music. Oh, come on. Okay. When we dance, Onisha people are so are proud people. You know, Onisha people don't go last. We are always number one among Sihua. So when you see Onisha people, Onisha person, you don't need to be know to be told, you know, because we are always outspoken, humble, and you know, we are always there. It's, it's a beautiful day for us to showcase our culture and let people know more about on each other. There are a lot of us here, and uh, this event is going to throw more light on the on each other people, the on each other culture, and the on each other, uh, society. <laughs> One 
wambe 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 what is one thing that you guys have enjoyed in this celebration so far oh i love the dancing the music and the fashion honey the fashion is given ah! <laughs> oh yes i'm even on dress <laughs> Speaking of uh, fashion and dancing and their uh, culture, please, you know, let me, I want to see some of your dance moves. So just, Wait, you see know. the music is, you want me to give you beats? Let me yeah. give you beats. Pa, pa, mm, pa, pa. Hey, Auntie Miko, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Hey. Look at her bag. Oh, yeah. Ah, you got to show hey. me. Ah, ah. Makadini. <laughs> Continue. Oh, yeah. But hold the bag out. Look at the bag. Auntie hey. Miko. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we have fun. We have fun here on Indie Web TV. We have fun. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Gorgeous. No, no, no. Okay, so Uncle Biko eh, Gwai, what are you looking forward to in this event today? What are you looking forward to? This event is big. It's great because we did it in collaboration with the Sister City City, which I'm the president of NIDO. My name is Chief Emmanuel Song, president of NIDO. So we started this Sister City thing 2017. That was when the first um MOU was signed between uh, the mayor of Indianapolis and the OB of Furniture. And then, now we are doing a commemoration of, uh, of the Caesar City and then combining with Furniture Maka, the Gala Night. And uh, they're going to be having a fundraising for the, um, uh, for the uh, sister state. And um, I'm going to be the master of ceremony tonight, you know, so uh, you just got me unaware, but... Um, Oh, we're looking at uh, uniting our nature people and, uh, you know, raising money for the cost in our nature. That's all. Yeah. What I'm looking forward to here is to preserve our tradition and culture. And we're going to be able to show it showcase today. What are your hopes and, and dreams for the, for the community today? Well, our hopes and dreams is that the sisters city relationship between India, Indiana and Onisha in Nigeria is going to bring positive economic uh, empowerment to our community that uh, Onicha will benefit from this relationship as well as India, Indiana City to benefit from our culture. That's what I'm hoping for. I think that's the ultimate goal. So what does being a part of the uh, Umonicha Maka community mean to you? Well, um, we drove, uh, I drove with my two kids from um, Michigan, uh, from the state of USA, state of Michigan, um, in order to uh, join you in, in your gala event and uh, to join in welcoming uh, our king, the Obi of Onicha, uh, Abu Ogidi. Uh, and um, I, we are very pleased to be here with you, just to show solidarity and to honor your occasion, honor your event and to honor our visiting king. So what's one thing that is an interesting fact, actually, that not a lot of people know about Onisha? Onisha, on the river Niger, uh, where actually religious faith came into the country, you know, on that particular city. Yes, oh, wow. it's a unique city. And Onisha is among also one of the 
you know, in the Anambra state in Nigeria that have one of the chiefs highly recognized by the Nigerian government. Yes, yes. <laughs> just a, a top-line chief. Onitsha uh, culture is century old. And it's like it, it gets handed down. It's a lot of things that we do in Onitsha that even some other evil parts of, 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 of uh, in Nigeria didn't have it if, like the Obi of Onitsha. It's, a, it's a, so many centuries old establishment that has been there. And then the culture, like the Abalan society, taking the other title, is something that's been there for a very long time. So it's something that is on each other from the rest of the, maybe I say Igbo people, because that culture that's been there long, it's not something that they are copied, it's something that has been there for a very long time. My dad always speaks in Proverbs, um, and he uses it to teach me important lessons of life. So what is one proverb, one Igbo proverb that you would like to share with, with others, other members of the community, and just, you know, others to inspire them? Okay, I, I say I say it in Igbo, then I'll say it uh, in English too. If you have, help your people. There's so much uh, hunger in Africa, in Nigeria in particular. So if you have enough, share with people. That is to be an Odisha person, it takes a whole bunch of different, different things. And that is what like we are trying to uh, uh, achieve by this event. Egu Pusie Omaluona. In a, a sense, is we came to this country to dance, that's to make money. And uh, the end game is that we take that world back home to develop our country. And that's the essence of Egu Pusie Omaluona. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mr. President, for giving us your time today. As you walk out, Ima, as you know, the chief that you are, because just give us a dance step as you're walking out. You know, don't need to do, just well, give will, us a move. I will, I will say thank you so much. Thank you. So Hi, my name is uh, Denise Abdul Rockman, and I'm uh, here really in two capacities. Uh, one, I wanted to make sure for history's sake that the NAACP was present, and I serve uh, as a, a, me a member of the at-large committee, and I serve as a state chair for environmental climate justice. But I also have a non-for-profit called Black Sunlight Sustainability, and we deploy clean energy across the state and do things to make sure that people have clean air, clean water, and good food to eat. So, yeah. And, uh, wanted to support President uh, Osley and his uh, ancestry and roots and how important this is uh, for him. So what's um, one thing that you've enjoyed so far about this experience? I uh, really love seeing, uh, one, all of the beautiful attire, um, all of what seemed like a lot of pride and joy of the Nigerian culture in general, and then all of the homage to the king uh, that is here, and uh, the traditions around the dancing, and I saw the men doing a specific type of dance in honor of the king. Um, so, And I just like the collaboration between these two cities and making a commitment meant um, to be committed to each other. And I believe an aspect of that will be bringing young people from uh, that city in Nigeria uh, to here, and then also uh, people from, uh, young people from Indianapolis going uh, to the city in Nigeria. So I think that's beautiful. The more we build relationships, the more we're connected, uh, then the stronger we'll be as human beings. We are a mental health agency and we were able to be a part of the sponsorship team on this special occasion. We provide a variety of services, but our main focus is we want to serve the least of these with the best available services uh, and we want to help to reconcile families and put them back together again.
much. Thank you, thank you. And of course, I can't, you can't just leave, like you have to dance okay. out. So let me give you a beat. In this celebration, oh, having seen the Abu Gideon for the time live, I used to see him on television, but today I saw him live and then the display of different cultures here, different dance, music, seeing a lot of people is it, it, quite a good one. Awesome, awesome. Lord, Lord. Okay, my so I so much love the kids dance and uh, and uh, the women that I don't know what it's called that were white and stuff. Yeah, it's very lovely and stuff. Thank you, thank you. I don't like music to go to waste. Okay. So, Ima, aha, oh yeah, aha, oh Chief Cable, Lolo, 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 Ow. Omale Changwa. You need to pay her a uh, more bright price because I, I know, I yes, know, all the expensive, all expensive. He's expensive. Oh, designer! This design. Look at the beauty. Wow. Ah, Uno Daluno, Daluno, Daluno. Thank you so much. What is one thing that? Um, what are your hopes actually and dreams for the organization? Well, I'm very impressed at the way they uh, actually um, exhibit the culture. And it's important that we continue to exhibit that so that people will know that Nigeria or Africa is actually beyond what they think. Yes. And uh, Onicha has a very rich culture that uh, we are all very proud of. I'm also Igbo, so I'm very proud of the culture. From Lagos to Ghana. America to China, uh, uh. oh yeah, follow me, I must uh, show you the way, oh, oh. What you they find for you, yeah, where you no go see, oh yeah, feel a song and feel a melody, did it feel us for you, yeah, and in overseas, should you never see, oh no, one bit, one bit, one bit, one bit, one bit. My name is Eng. Hey, name. Hey, there's power in name. Ah, that's it because I'm honored to be in your presence. I'm honored to be in your presence. Uh, and, and one thing I wanted to ask, you know, as the president of this organization, what are your your hopes and your your vision for the future, especially as a member of a sister city? Uh, what are your hopes and your vision to continue to strengthen that collaboration? Yes, yeah, so first of all, um uh, Jamaica of Indiana has been around for over two decades, okay? And I am the president of Omwani Jamaka. I have been for four years now. And uh, what we do is, or who we are, uh, all Onitsha indigenous that reside here in Indiana. Um, so we come together, we help each other. We, uh, we are happy for each other. We go over any issues with, you know, that any of us have. 
you know. But today is gala. Today is gala event. So with this gala event, what we are doing is um, we are celebrating the commemoration of the sister city partnership between the city of Indianapolis and Onitsha. So um, with this, both our hometown Onitsha and Indianapolis will be working together. One of the first um, initiatives we have with this is a student exchange program. So with the student exchange program will be uh, maybe when we work together with the city of Indianapolis, we can come with, uh, we can bring our kids from Nigeria to come here and study, as well as send kids from here to Nigeria for any adventures that they like, you know, they want to, you know, go for. Yeah, so it's just a whole lot of things that we are planning, but this is the first one that we need to go, go with. Yeah, honestly, as, as a former teacher, that's something that really resonates with me. We need more of that cultural exchange. And we need uh, for people to see, our students to see a different side to life. You know, the, wo the world is bigger than what they could imagine. And it helps for them to think about, you know, Nigeria, the African continent in a different way. Uh, so I wonder too as well, what are some initiatives? Uh, so that's the future. What are some things that you guys have, um, you've done uh, in the community? because we want to recognize that too as well. Yes, so one of the things that we do is that the people back home, we do, uh, like during COVID, we had some palliative programs where we sent some stuff back home. Uh, we have also assisted with school supplies back home. So this is something that we do. If we have a new member, any indigent that comes to this state newly, we welcome them and make their transition smoother for them. You know, we exchange ideas, a lot of opportunities, we share those together, and we partner with a lot of people to, you know, work on, you know, something, it, it doesn't matter what, you know, we are just out there, you know, doing what we can to make this world and Africa and Nigeria a better place. That's lovely. And, you know, I'm so glad that you do that, especially welcoming of, you know, new Anisha indigens. And for those maybe who might not know how to get involved or get in touch, can you tell them, can, we, can you tell us how to get in touch? So to get in touch, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, feel free to reach out to me, um, the president of Umu Anichamaka, um, you can reach out to me for any questions. We also have a lot of members of the association that are helping with this and it's been a very big success. So reach out to any of us.